All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in here in the office, all of freedom. And uh, right now, I just want to address the <laughs> the elephant in the room. And one of those is I'm actually watching John Crump's uh, channel on the side over here on the hearing of H.R. 7910, Protecting Our Kids Act. And what that is is that the Judiciary Committee is getting together, and they're deciding what they want to bring before a full House vote. And let's talk about it. They include legislation to raise the age to buy certain semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21. They want to go ahead and codify the ban on bump stocks, which is they want to take it and turn it into law. Uh, ban the new sale of high-capacity magazines. Define a high-capacity magazine for me, would you please? Create new federal penalties for gun trafficking. Apply new restrictions to so-called ghost guns and establish new penalties for improper storage of guns at home. Well, first of all, you get kids now these days in, in New York or L.A., they go out and they can actually shoot somebody and they'll be on the streets that afternoon. So what laws are y'all talking about that are going to help prevent anything from happening in the future? <sighs> right. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said on Wednesday the House Democrats will soon consider legislation banning military-style assault weapons. Define an assault weapon for me, please. Marking the most aggressive response from Congress to date. Uh, so basically... Uh, they're just going to go through these things in and out and all about. Uh, one of the things, David Cicilline, a Democrat from Rhode Island, Rhode Island, we talked about him before, would prohibit the sale, transport, import, and manufacture 205 models of semi-automatic rifle, which are named in the bill. It would not ban those gun owners who already possess those firearms from using them. Yeah. All right, so before we go crazy, I want to talk about this real quickly. Uh, so the Democrat-controlled House is ready to set and to vote on this thing, okay? And then as we go through them, we're going to make an assault weapons ban. Uh, however, it's not clear if an assault weapons ban would get a vote in a full... I swear to God, people, please leave me alone. It's unreal. So uh, where the measure... All right, so the bill is unlikely to pass in an evenly divided Senate. So even if they were able to... I, I can't do this. So even if they were able to get it, this is my life. So even if they were able to get it to go through the House, it's sort of unlikely that it would actually go through the Senate because you got to face it, there's a lot of Democrats in the Senate whose uh, who, their, their, their people in their districts are pro-gun. And this would be a clear sign, like you've got Joe Manchin up there. It'd be a clear sign that the, the the shift would be changing if this actually goes. But you've got that guy Salinger up there in Illinois, who's a congressman, who said he would be willing to go with a, an, a uh, what they call an AR-15 ban or ban on AR-15s. Um, so anyway, even if the assault weapons ban were passed, it would likely be struck down by the courts. The Supreme Court ruled in the District of Columbia versus Heller that. Any categorical ban of weapons commonly possessed by the law-abiding citizens for lawful purposes today would violate the Second Amendment. So what does this mean? And, and, and I'm just reading these things. I'm going to put these down below. Um, there's several uh, articles from the National Review uh, that go through this whole thing. And I, I tell you what, it is, uh, it's really eye-opening. And the cool part about it is that it's our Constitution protects us. And that's the beauty of where we live and how things happen. Uh, up in Canada, like I said earlier, uh, you got Justin Trudeau with a stroke of a pen can say you're not allowed to drive a four-wheel drive vehicle anymore or you're not allowed to drive a gas-powered uh, vehicle anymore or you're not allowed to even own or transport. You can't transfer, sell, uh, possess a pistol or a rifle or a semi-automatic rifle and you can wake up the next morning and you're done. So the beauty of our government, and I know that a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, we are set here to talk about the balance of power. You've got the, the judicial plant, legislature, legislature, man, where am I this morning? And the executive branch. The executive can issue an executive order, but it is not law because the next upcoming president can reverse it. But if Congress votes on it, but in order to, for Congress to pass it, they have to have the uh, 60 to 40 split in the Senate in order to make things law. You only got to win by one vote in Congress. But the beauty of it is the judiciary, the Supreme Court, can come in and say that law is not lawful. So anyway, that's it today, man. The assault weapons ban of the future. Is it going to go? I don't think it will. They don't have the power. 
All they're doing is they're trying to make a statement. They're going to try to use this in the upcoming elections to ensure that people uh, like you and me know who voted yes and no. And guys, that's what we're going to do is put a list of people who voted for the assault weapons ban and all this other BS and make that list and vote accordingly. Get their asses out of office. The people who voted for Biden. This is what we're getting. You got a guy who doesn't care about fuel prices because that's the biggest thing that's hitting our farmers, our people, our travelers, our shipping departments, all the truckers out there. Not that he doesn't care, but he's not doing a damn thing about it because he thinks that, you know, there's nothing he can do about it. It's all Putin's fault. Meanwhile, families are starving. The government's out of money and they can't give people any more money. So the pandering is about to stop. Search your souls. If you voted for this guy, I'm not going to scream and holler at you, but I'm going to say, search your souls. Are you in a better position today than you were, I don't know, four years ago? Probably not. So anyway, with that being said, guys, protect your rights. Stand up for what is yours, and don't let anybody take shit away from you. It's KB32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. I'm going to get back over here to John Crump's channel. I'm going to put the link down below, and you guys get over there and follow up. Tell him KB32 sent you. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. They ain't taking nothing. Not a damn thing.